If that's the secret sauce, is if hard work's the secret sauce, then I'm all about that. There, there's no 1999 buy on TV, easy fixes. Like there's been a lot of hard work. And again, like we, we talked about it very, very early on when we got here. Hey, what's flash fast football gonna look like? If we're a gritty, hardworking, blue collar work group that just works and finds a way to win, like sign me up for that. The majority of our guys enjoy that productive discomfort. And work works. It, I, I heard another thing I, I commonly would say is like the secret is there. There is no secret. Like you got to work. Like that's what you got to do. There is no magic potion. was able to develop a relationship uh, with Coach Kaufman um, just through kind of camps and, you know, a, a common friend uh, in the profession and saw that they had an opening and reached out. Um, and then just that connection was able to, you know, provide words of encouragement and had the opportunity to, uh, you know, kind of meet Coach Lewis in person uh, to get the feel for each other and offered me the job. So that was it. I got a text message from Coach Coffin and I got word that we're looking for a cornerbacks coach and he asked if I was interested and obviously I was. Got a chance to get on the phone with him that night and uh, I thought it was going to be a casual conversation about 10-15 minutes and Coach Kaufman interviewed me for about an hour and 10 minutes and uh, but it was good. We got a chance to talk football. I got a text from Coach Lewis the next day and got on the phone with him and and uh, that next week I came in to interview and and the rest is history, here I am. It's an opportunity that, you know, I think something that you always dream about, right? Going back to your alumni, going back there and, and giving back to not only the, the school, but the staff, the players. Um, and I've had an opportunity with Coach Farrell, right? Me and, me and Colin played together here at Kent and I had the opportunity about three years ago now to meet Coach Lewis, Coach Kaufman, his defense coordinator, and the rest of the staff and kind of get close to them, you know, kind of learn each other professionally and had an opportunity with the opening here to, you know, interview with him and the staff and get the opportunity to come back. And it's been exciting. It's been extremely surreal, you know, being back on campus, seeing familiar faces, uh, people that are coming back at the same time that were here once when I was a student. Uh, but it's extremely exciting kind of looking into the fall and, and the opportunity to be a part of this flash fast football. Just being able to wear a Kent State t-shirt and a football t-shirt around and being able to go back home to Des Moines and wear that around, that's, that's a big deal. When you're 100% transparent with guys in the recruiting process, you attract like-minded people. You attract guys that are a good fit for this. We have a bunch of guys that, you know, through everybody's had, you know, different stories, whether they were recruited here out of high school or maybe they, you know, had an opportunity at another school and then transferred here. But we're all here for a certain reason. And, and I think everybody enjoys working. They enjoy being uncomfortable. This is a little bit of a taste of adversity. A lot of reps. We're running the football, we're tired, balls are getting hit over our head. We have trained for this. You are in a position where after this break, you should be equipped with how to respond. By no surprise, culture is going to drive our behavior and our habits, right? And if those things are in line and successful, the production on the field will naturally come. You bring juice every single day and that's, you know, it's infectious and it's something that like, it's not, well, I have to go to practice. It's I get to go to practice. We've got to live with purpose like we've done since day one to improve and perform today, to go out and play together with accountability and execute with conviction together. And then no matter what challenges we come across, what opportunities present themselves, go harder longer and we'll see our way through it. That's true toughness. Preseason stuff doesn't mean anything. If you're not the Mac East champion at the end of the season and what does the preseason mean? So, I mean, we just continue to just ignore that, continue to work every day, focus on what we got to focus on, do what we got to do, and just, you know, do all we can to get to where we want to be. I mean, we never really focus on, like, the outside. We just focus on us doing the work. We never focus about the opponent. It's always about us. If we execute right, we'll be fine. Like, it's never about the opponent or anything. The work that we put in is going to speak itself. Um, the media can have their input and everything like that, but we know as a team that, like, like those expectations got to come to reality and if they don't then we, we failed so at the end of the day our, our goal is to win I, I think having high expectations is a good thing whether it's 
outside the program or inside. Um, we've set high expectations for ourselves. They know what they want. They, they have an idea of what they want and they know what it's going to take to get there. And guys are locked in on putting in the work and realizing what's important. And egos somehow fall to the wayside. That's part of the standard is coming to work every day, putting your blinders on, staying humble, staying eager, and, and being ready to work. So everybody's in the hunt, but it's just embracing those expectations. Um, what the outside noise says, it don't matter to us at all. We gotta go out there and we gotta perform every single day. We gotta work our butts off every single day and go out there and ain't nobody gonna roll over for us, you know? So all the media talk and all that stuff is, is great for the outsiders, but in our family and here between the, the, the lines here at Dick Stadium, we know what we expect of each other and what we're looking to perform um, on Saturdays, each, each, you know, each game out there. So it's just, it's outside noise. It's nice that, you know, that, that is the expectation, but that's been our expectation all along, you know? So that ain't never gonna change for us. This day's done. We're at Helmets tomorrow. The intensity, the energy, and the enthusiasm, just because we're going only Helmets, cannot dip. Right? You gotta show me, you have to show us, this family, that we can practice the right way, regardless of what we're wearing. Well, that's one of the uh, Coach Lewisms. Uh, if you're juiceless, you're useless. Um, but we play football. Like this is a game. Like w this is a game. Winning is the business of it. But if you're not out on the field having fun, you know we we better enjoy it. That takes me back to my playing days. I mean, that's why you do it. I mean, you put in all that hard work throughout the week, and I mean, Saturdays are fun. Saturdays are easy. <laughs> I pulled my hamstring when you got that interception. Yeah. I pulled my hamstring. The time is over for the seven game, getting to a bowl game expectations. Like that's cool, we've done that check mark. Like that's not what we're about right now. Like, you know, we have championship level expectations and along, along those lines come with championship level effort that we need to give every single day, right? That stuff's not just gonna happen. Out of any FES school, our schedule is a nightmare every year, you know, and we understand that. I love being the underdog, but I want that chip on the shoulder. You know, I want our guys to, to realize, hey, you're going to play against the best in the nation, regardless of who it is, and uh, we got to be able to respond. Everybody has to do their own part and embrace their own role for the team's success, you know, and that's not just when we're here at the stadium. That's not just when we're here at mandatory workouts and stuff. Um, we have to do you know, all the little things that people don't see, you know, behind closed doors for us to really embrace that fight and, and take that, our game to another level. I see it already. As a team, I think we just keep working. We've seen it. Okay, that's cool and all, but that ain't happened yet. We just keep on working and wait for the outcome, taking it day by day. Those are public expectations, right? And you can go back to year one when we were close and everyone was really happy that we were close, but the own expectations and everything we put on ourselves was that close is never going to be good enough. And the expectations always been set high from, shoot, that intro press conference in December, right? I mean, from, from that moment, again, part of our identity and who we're going to be is that we're going to have high expectations, high goals. And that's always been to, you know, graduate our guys, to own the wheel, win the East, win the league, and play in a New Year's Six Bowl game. We gave the guys a little uh, boxing glove keychain where individually, you know, everyone's playing for a little bit different things, individual to themselves and, and whatever that individual fight is. You know, I really kind of think that's a life hack to where if you know what you're fighting for, again, it gives you purpose, it gives you motivation, it gives you energy day in and day out to, to go step back into the ring. My family specifically is what I wrote on my boxing glove, my wife and my two sons. When I go home at night, whether I had a good day or a bad day, they're there, they're smiling, they're laughing, you know, and so to me that, that's, that grounds me, that's my rock, right, that's my motivation. As a staff, we're fighting to keep our guys going, to keep our guys positive. Like you said, there's all different things, there's expectations, there's social media. We're fighting against a really competitive schedule and, and just attacking that in the right ways. Doing what I can to be at my best and, you know, help bring this family to a goal that we've been trying to achieve for a long time. You know, I'm, I'm very blessed. I never really had to struggle m much in life, and I just want to be able to do what I can to help others achieve dreams that I have as well. I'm honestly fighting for myself to be the best person I could be that day, just for my teammates so we could win a MAC championship. I said just to become a better man on and off the field. Um, I got a lot of people like, that look up to me, the first to graduate from college, um, stuff like that, and it's just like it puts that warm like feeling in my heart, but it, it gives me that drive to keep going. 
So I definitely say just like the people that look up to me, just simple as that, not even just look up to me, but care about me and love me. It's a level of confidence and a level of expectations. No matter when you step on that field, you're expecting to perform in a certain way. So I want to get some rings with my teammates, win a couple championships, maybe throw another banner up in that end zone for another bowl win. And I'm fighting for the win right off the bat. Like we're going to the moon and we're landing. We're not coming back.